You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Gene. Johnson. The AfterBuzz After Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Awkward After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's Awkward After Show. Woo! Yay. <laughs> We're here for our second show, Awkward, this evening. Is that some, that's like a oh jazz intro God. we had right yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> we have been suffering with these loud headphones <laughs> all night. Uh, anyway, uh, Bing is for doing. We're here doing another episode after show for Awkward. And this is season two, episode three. Oh, Three's a Crowd. I was wondering what the title was. I didn't know. <laughs> oh, my God. I, thought, I was thinking the title's got to be like B for Bully or something because there was some Bs for Bully all over this <laughs> <Yeah>. Everybody. <laughs> oh, my God. Sadie had how many? <laughs> like five. Seven. <laughs> Bs on her. Um, so I am uh, Ed Bowling, uh, your host. I'm Isabel Mora. I am Crystal Ackley. Annie Demian. And welcome, ladies. Yay. Thank you. Um <laughs> So, uh, awkward is I find myself watching it and not taking notes because I'm just I want to sit back and just be entertained Enjoy and it. laugh. Right. Yeah. And I'm also like talking in the middle of the thing <laughs> and I had to rewind mm -hmm. because I made us miss some stuff. So um, had some trouble with the remote. <laughs> <laughs> yep, had some trouble with the remote. We like watched the whole show and fast forward. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Crystal. Yeah. And um, <laughs> she just <laughs> threw the remote up and said, take it. <laughs> um, so anyway, okay, so uh, B is for bully. Valerie, what happened to Valerie? What a turnaround. Like, okay, she's still, you know, we loved watching her. Great yeah. comedic actress. But why is she so angry? She's mad about, she doesn't like that lady or something. No. But, like, okay, did she hire her? Or did they just place her there, or what? I don't know. I don't think she hired her. I think that somebody must have hired her, and she didn't know about it, and she doesn't want someone else to take her old job. Yeah. <laughs> she was, like, doing both roles, vice, pre vice <laughs> principal and... That was pretty funny. Yeah, she's funny. And then, I mean, I'm jumping ahead, but <laughs> calling her out for stripper heels. Yeah. <laughs> Those weren't stripper heels, were No, they? and that lady was... <laughs> <laughs> but also, um, don't you remember, like, in season one... She was a little mean to Jenna because they weren't friends at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So she was like a bully herself. And Jenna kind of felt like, you know, uh, kind of felt like that it was um, like she was trying to get her in trouble for things that she didn't do. Really? Yeah. At the be at, yeah. <laughs> first season. She w they weren't friends. But no, she went. Wait. Jenna was, she thought, Jen, Valerie thought Jenna was trying to get Valerie in trouble? No, Jenna thought Valerie was trying to get her in trouble. They didn't no, like each other. She didn't. Yeah, Valerie was the all they didn't like each other, season one. She was all over the board in season one, too. Yeah. Kind she of a was, job. it's like, they oh. couldn't decide if she was going to be the friendly counselor yeah. or the counselor that just got Jenna in trouble. They weren't friends. I feel like Valerie has always played characters, yeah. too, and she's just <laughs> going really hard with this principal <laughs> character mm -hmm. role. So. Oh, man, she is. <laughs> I mean, it w you know, it was a total shock that she even had that plot to become the vice principal. Yeah. yeah. Didn't know she wanted that. I mean, the hair, the suit. Right. Everything. Yeah, she's yeah. totally... You know. And and that's what happened in season one. Um, that's how they became friends. They both uh, were crushing over a guy because Valerie was crushing over um, this one professor, I think it was. I remember the, the Indian guy. So, and then Jenna started talking to her about Maddie, and then that's how they became friends. Yeah, that's you right. didn't watch season one. I watched I it, like, true more fans, than once. You know. <laughs> I just was you know, probably just being entertained and not, you know, retaining all the info. <laughs> but, um, uh, so... 
Yeah, she's got this whole thing where she's like, why is she shooting a gun off? They're, they're, <laughs> she's shooting guns. She's yelling Lair at everybody. <laughs> she comes out and says all these crazy insults at the gym. Yeah. And I was, I wasn't think she was faking it to show an example. I thought she was doing it because that's what she, she was, was doing. Fun of yeah. Yeah. She kind of reminds me of um, from Glee, Sue. Sylvester? I don't watch Glee. No, no one. Is that, um, I did Glee on the after show here. Uh-huh. But she was like always making fun of people and <laughs> stuff. Yeah. So that's how it reminded me. Maybe of that's her. what, because you guys are seeing tie ins, like similarities to the mean movie girls. Mean Girls and other stuff. I actually, I did see Mean Girls, like, I don't remember. When they it. interviewed different people. Don't remember it, yeah. but. Like at different times. Um, Anyways. <laughs> no, that's okay. Awkward is its own show. No, that's okay. It's good. It's, I mean, this is what we do. We talk about it. Um,. And <laughs> the words and the phrases that we're seeing, they crack me up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you guys have the coin BBF. Phrases. I've got BBF, backburner friend. <laughs> Backburn, I missed that one. Tomorrow. I didn't either. I didn't know what that meant. Yeah, she said, I'll, <laughs> she said, I'll be the BBF. T- tomorrow was the BBF this oh, time. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because now uh, she's got Jake, mm-hmm. and she's been all the time, so tomorrow is no longer like the primary hangout person. Right. She's the BBF. Yeah. And, um... Uh, and Panini. Panini. Panini after she, <laughs> because remember, <laughs> she funny. she came out in that skin tight thing. What were they? they were, I forgot what the group was called now. <laughs> Jazz something. I can't remember oh either. God. Jazz Panini. The outfits were pretty great. <laughs> it was funny, but they were skin tight. <laughs> she was like, <laughs> to I the have point to where soak it up. <laughs> yes, but the whole reason she was in there sitting down in the principal's office is because her boyfriend Ricky. When is she gonna learn that this dude? Just he comes back every time and says, "Look, <laughs> I was wrong. It's always been you. It's all about you." And then she falls for it for a second, mm-hmm. and then he goes and he's <laughs> with some other girl up in the stands. <laughs> right when she's performing. Right, and she's in the skin. He should be like ogling her, and he's yeah. with her big booty. I yeah, know. yeah, that was. It was all up you know, the screen. <laughs> tomorrow we'll see you next week. <laughs> uh, Love you know, the suit. Jillian Rose <laughs> Reed. Um, <laughs> uh, because uh, I, we said earlier she's going to actually be in studio next Thursday, which is going to be cool. Um, yeah, cause it should be fun. I can't wait to see how she is in mm-hmm. real, in, you know, in person. <laughs> uh, because it seems like she's just going to be the way she is on, on, on TV because she's so naturally funny at that. <laughs> um, but she also calls it, when she like goes crazy, sees her boyfriend, she says, I went full metal sequins <laughs> <laughs> in front of everybody. <laughs> and, you know. Um she's a clever girl. Yes, it's it's clever the what she has to say, the the her lines are very quick and clever mm-hmm. and and hilarious. Um but Jenna is dealing with Maddie the saboteur question mark at least in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Because they go into that gym presentation mm-hmm. <laughs> and she's saying to the camera that you know what? She's in a relationship, and she it's good that she has someone who will lead her, but sometimes she has to lead because Jake is getting ready to take her right up to sit next to Maddie. And Maddie's like, yeah, come on up. Mm-hmm. And she's like, no, we're going to sit down here. And then Maddie comes right on down, puts his hand on her leg and all this stuff, and then he's doing this stuff. Like, I'm just looking at him like, <laughs> yeah, you know what? He is completely being doing sabotage here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Being a creep, he touched her butt. Yeah, he's slapping her, her. Took a shirt off while they're playing <laughs> video games. Yeah. And what what about I mean, I'm jumping ahead, but what do you think when she confronted him and he denied it? Like, wasn't he believable in how he said it? Oh, totally. Yeah. Yeah. I mean it made me wonder, like Yeah, oh, it made me think wait, am I crazy? Does yeah. Jake really not want to be with her alone? Maybe he's trying to save his virginity. So he figured, you know. If I didn't believe him because he was. There was just too many things happening. It was too obvious you that can't he was grab her butt right? and yeah. be like, "Oh, accident." Yeah, I'm doing that just because Jake wants me to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I but doubt her boyfriend would want that to happen. <laughs> right, but even though we saw all that, it was like he was so convincing yeah, when he so said so it. So it was yeah. like it made me question, like well, maybe I was reading into it. Yeah. Yeah. You know? For a split second, I thought maybe is Jake talking to Maddie about how he's nervous about right, losing his virginity, right. and I was oh, like, wait a minute, does does he not want to be, be there? there? Yeah, yeah, that's true, but clearly not the case. But you know what? In his the girlfriend, um, uh, Lissa, Lissa, mm-hmm. he wasn't really nervous. Remember, in the beginning, he was complaining that he had been dating her for a long time. He still didn't get to have sex with her. <laughs> you know, and then when he he was gonna have sex. I think he was gonna t- have her behind him. That was actually at the party. Uh, no, she wanted him to. I know, but then that she was passed out. Like a cover up. 
because the whole time he's like, yeah, I want to, but it was a cover up because he really did not want to. I don't know. He was complaining to. He wasn't complaining. Are you sure? Yeah, you didn't watch Awkward. I wa- <laughs> <laughs> again. I watched it. Time. I re- <laughs> and well, I do remember Sadie was, you know, putting thoughts into Lissa's head about, you know, if you don't give it up, mm-hmm. you know, but there's another way you can do it. <laughs> what did she say? She God has a loophole, or <laughs> something. Like she opens that. up the back door. Yeah, there's a back oh. door because she wasn't having sex because like, she was being, she's religious. <laughs> yeah. And, and Sadie then she was like, down on the bed, right on her stomach at the part. Oh, that was good. It was really funny. Yes, it was funny. See, I watched it. <laughs> um, but uh, we also have the the situation with her mom. Yes. And her mom is in just total denial. <laughs> and, you know, the husband is coming home late from work, avoiding her altogether. Mm-hmm. And she's just like, you know, and Jenna's worried because regardless of whatever has happened, this is still her mom and dad. And right, she's in yeah, high school, right. you know, and their their relationship has been good, mm-hmm. you know, for a long time. And it started under tough circumstances like all these 16 and pregnant mm-hmm. girls yeah. we talk about. Right. Um, but yeah, I mean, she was desperate. She buys the hot tub. <laughs> desperate move. Yeah, it was. Well, her body was banging. <laughs> no, <I understand. laughs> Less clothing, more skin. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And it was kind of comical throughout the entire show yeah. up until the very end. Not yeah, that it was forward, sad. But it was like yeah, that twist there. So. Uh, you mean the part about him leaving for yeah. an extended amount of time? Well, you know what? It was comical. I think even at, in the middle, up until she actually, when she took off her robe. And and you know and then it started to get a little bit serious and he's walking over and yells at her. But yeah, but he like see and it was clear when he saw her he was you know he was attracted and turned on and you know reminded of he's got a hot wife. But then he remembered his daughter Mm -hmm. and you know and on the way walking over then he just like you know what, Mm -hmm. get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just showing a bad example to our daughter again. Yeah, I hope Jenna doesn't feel part. Not that she would feel like. I don't know, like part of the blame, but it's because of her. So I hope that she doesn't take any of it personally. Yeah. yeah. They do end up continuing down mm-hmm. the separation mm-hmm. road. Yeah, and I mean, going back to the first episode when she had the pills and she and the you know and had that accident mm-hmm. yeah. that looked like sui- some suicide <laughs> attempt. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, Sadie is the meanest big B for bully. I know. Yeah. Remind <laughs> you know what was she saying about cutting? She said, "Oh, you, you what? What did they have to cut?" I forget, but she was like, you know about and that. Yeah, and then she taps her wrist and says, you're, you're, you're good at cutting. Yeah. So you, you can, can be the one out. to show and help yeah, her Yeah, that was harsh. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God, Sadie. She's so, so. She is just ridiculous. But you know what? Again, good acting. She's great at what she what she, she does there. She had kind of an endearing moment, I think, with Maddie, too, because it makes me wonder if y- we know that Jake's going to find out eventually. Right. For a moment, I was like, wait a minute, is is Sadie going to be the one to put it out there? Like, is she going to catch on to everything mm-hmm. happening or that had happened? And is she going to be the bearer of bad news? But in the end, it was like she was kind of happy for Maddie having right. his sabotage moment. They were, yeah. They had a moment there. They did. They did. So. And, but Sadie doesn't does she know the details? I don't know, but I, I feel like remember. she'd be the first to find out if anyone about does. About them? About Maddie and Jenna? Yeah, she, she knows, knows that she knows that they hooked up and she knows that um Why the heck wouldn't she just ruin it for because him? Because she yeah. also always had a huge crush on Maddie. So what she's trying to figure out a way to do it and not make Maddie mad at her? I don't Yeah, maybe. I, yeah, cuz I don't think she wants him on you know her bad his bad side well this yeah. whole secret thing that you know we thought in the last episode was all cleared up mm-hmm. right because jenna jake's like i don't care who he is and jenna's like you know what i'm all about you mm-hmm. but the secret is just get it's just worse it's yeah. getting worse even between <laughs> jake and jenna now because maddie's there mm-hmm. and you know and he's doing all this mm-hmm. stuff and trying to tempt her and jake is just so he's the fool in the room you know, he doesn't have an idea of really what's going on. And then he's, like, telling her, yeah, hey, listen, I know what's wrong. I know what's going on with you and Maddie. And she's like, oh, what are you talking about? He goes, yeah. you don't like him. Yeah. And she's like, that's not it. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to be so embarrassed when he does find right? out because I mean, the, he went along with everything. You, uh, and everyone knew and didn't say anything to him. Yeah, right. he's the fool in the room. You're not, he's not going to be able to recover from that, right? Yeah. No. 
I mean, how is he ever going to be able to trust her? The whole thing is going to feel, he's going to feel like it's all fake. Maybe right. he'll go back to Lissa. Lissa's not even there. I know. I mean, She's do we even see her at all this episode? Just once, when she when Sadie had that conversation with Tamara in the hall. Oh, right. And so then she gave her the evil look, too. She's like yeah. counted down and said, yeah. look at her. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yep, so funny. Um, and then we have uh, Tamara. What I see about Tamara is that she's always, like, given this really just straightforward. Oh, I'm moving around too much for Phil. Look at that. I felt that his eyes burning on me. <laughs> He's still holding <laughs> science. It stopped moving. Um, but no, Tamara is like her character is just given these like really quick correct advice. Like she just analyzes mm -hmm. it really quickly and just doesn't hold back anything of what mm -hmm. she says. And you know, it's just always funny just how right she is and quickly she does stuff. But she can't. She can see what other people's problems are and analyze them, but she can't even see hers. Ricky. Yeah. yeah, she's good for Jenna because I think she helps herself reflect on on yeah. her own problem. So. Mm -hmm. In yeah. a fun way, too. Yeah, she's pretty <laughs> funny. Yeah, She's witty. Um, and so then there's the track scene at Birmingham High School Whatever. in the Valley, <laughs> I will which is actually not far I from here. I will prove you wrong. Wait, you said they don't again. film in L.A.? They don't. No, they filmed that one in L.A. Mm -hmm. Where <laughs> do they film it, then, if they don't? Um, where? It's a little town. Ohio. Is it Ohio? <laughs> <laughs> Did you get excited <laughs> for a second? Kansas. What where, up? Phil, where is it? He doesn't know. What was a bus? <laughs> oh, because you said Ohio. Well, our first topic was B for Bully. And after that, I want to remind our listeners that uh, you can help us out. You can support After Buzz. If you're a listener, you'll know that we are all here doing this volunteer. But you can help out at no cost to you. If you shop on Amazon, instead of just going directly to Amazon, you can go to the AfterBuzzTV.com website. Click on the Amazon link first. It will take you to Amazon, and then whatever you buy, a little portion of the proceeds will go towards AfterBuzz, and you help everything keep running here as you like it. And uh, we appreciate that, if you would. Um, really, the the relationship between the mom and dad had, like, mm -hmm. you know, we we didn't l we didn't like it. We didn't like seeing how you know. We know it's serious for the dad, mm -hmm. but is it serious? Is it that serious? Well, like why? After is how many years they've been together, I think they could go to counseling or something. Is it is it because of the s the he thinks it's related to her suicide? Because he said you almost ruined our daughter's life. Right. But why would he leave mm -hmm. though? Yeah. I'm surprised he's not, like you're saying, there for Jenna physically. And he even comments, like, why are you being so nice to your mom? And she yeah. comments back and says, well, you're not here, so I'm stuck with her. So yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. He's it's like, interesting that he's he like, he said, he said why are you listening to her? I'm surprised he didn't take her with yeah. him. Yeah. yeah. And leave the mom. Or take her out, Don't you know? Leave me here. If, it, if it's that bad, you know, but he. She shouldn't be in that environment either or something. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. Like, if, the, if you think about it, if the reason that he's upset is that, is the influence that the mom had what right. she did then it, that's even worse for him to remove himself exactly right. yeah it's just gonna why. get worse and then the mom's just gonna talk to her about it it's gonna be like inappropriate that must be <laughs> it, it must be that he actually doesn't have any intention of leaving permanently right, right. It must be that just a couple of days maybe he thinks that by leaving he's giving them a chance to work, work out it out problems. because we saw towards the end of the episode it, they had a nice they held hands. moment there yeah, yeah. so Maybe it's a chance True. for them to really talk it out. Oh, man, I don't know. What do you guys... Because she did say it's not just for a few days, is it? And the mom said, nope. Well, oh. it's definitely a, a lesson for her, I mm -hmm. think, with the guilt. <laughs> yeah, she she's clearly she clearly avoids every, like, real serious downer that, yeah. you know, and even if she creates yeah. it, she tries to avoid it. Mm -hmm. And so it was... You know, that's why it was so difficult. That's why we saw it on her face when she confessed that she, she wrote the note. It's like she had done all these things to try to avoid it. And then finally she decided, okay, I'm going to tell him. Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, she takes it really hard. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I felt like maybe the mom had learned a lesson. But, you know, he's been with her, like you said, for years. So maybe he knows, you know, I've got to do something different right. to really sort of create some change Get in her. Get to yeah. her, yeah. I think they'll work it out. Mm. Might take a few episodes. Yeah. Yeah. 
this is probably going to be like a storyline for the season. It would be really funny to see them, not to see them separate. That's not funny, but to see Jenna's mom single. <laughs> yeah, yeah really her on the town. By oh. that. <laughs> she would be fun. That, that would be an unexpected <laughs> plot twist. Yeah, yeah and the dad's so hot, too. Yeah. So he yeah. could go out on the town. I like the sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah you guys got to see i got to see the mom and going to the hot tub you got to see the dad in the hot tub didn't and find it yeah and until he ruined it and peed in it no, <laughs> that was no awesome. jenna went to her yeah i was gonna say jenna <laughs> went to her dad at the hot tub scene because maddie is just you know clearly trying to m- put salt in the game for Jake and, and Jenna. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then the dad comes home sneaking in the back and is like, why do we have a hot tub? Yeah. A. <laughs> yeah. And and she's like, why are you coming in the back door? And why are you sneaking? He's always sneaking up just avoiding your mom. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just, the whole thing is just silly, that, you know, but, you know, they yeah. each know what the other person is doing. Yeah. And she's like, look, I need you to get Maddie out of here for me. And so he's like, so you could be alone with your boyfriend? Goes, I don't think so. That was funny. Why all of a sudden does the dad care now? Like, what, you, she can't actually use the box of Costco condoms you got her? Yeah, but not at my house. In the hot tub. In my hot tub. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's nasty. Wait, 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 wait. Glass yeah. window. If you're, but wait, wait, wait. If you're a dad in his hot tub, he doesn't even want the hot tub. If you're a dad that buys your daughter a giant sized box of condoms. You're not saying it's okay to use your, my house as a hotel. You're, no. Motel. He wants her to be safe, but he's not trying yeah. to promote it. No, dad is like, It's oh. a box. It's a, like there's 200 in there. Okay, I guess you know. No. But uh, <laughs> Ed, what dad is like, okay, here's <laughs> condoms. Yes, you can fuck in my house. No. <gasps> Beep. Um, no. No, I mean, I don't know. I don't see how, I don't see the difference. What? I don't know. I mean, like, first of all, I, I don't think I would. I don't think I would give my Why? daughter a Costco box Why of condoms. Why are you a parent? I'm a good parent. <laughs> Dads get mad sometimes. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't have daughters. That's all. <laughs> I give my to give my son a box of condoms. Okay, so because you give your son a box of condoms, you think that also means you may use our home as the place where you use them. But where else? Is, where else is she gonna use them? Do I have to put my foot down? Yeah. At her boyfriend's house. He doesn't oh, want Oh, damn. Help. In the car. In the car. Really? This is A hotel room. He just room. knows it's going to happen regardless, so. Yeah. Uh, bleachers at high school. How many students? The sanctuary zone yes. or whatever yes. it was called. Yeah. <laughs> that okay. would be weird. All right. All right. Gosh. All right. Um, wow. <laughs> He's speechless. He has a lot to learn. Anyway, he said no. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to let you. I'm not going to make it, but I'll do one better. I'll, g- I'll get rid of both guys by peeing in the water. <laughs> And like, oh, yeah. like they didn't even. Uh, yeah. They were. <laughs> why did they know? even? Why did they even feel free to ask to say out loud? Why <laughs> did Jake feel free to pee. say out loud? Um, did someone pee? Yeah. How can they? Even and know? you know, it's like the third time we heard that phrase yeah. in the show. How could you know? You're in a hot tub. <laughs> yeah. It's a hot it's tub. Already hot. Unless you smell it. Was there like a cold <laughs> stream? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, Are you God. sure? It sounded like you. You sound like you experienced that. I no, I haven't. I swear. You sure? Can, so you can smell it then when it happens. No, I'm saying that might be the only. <laughs> when you pee, you can smell it in the. I've never peed in a hot tub. You, you see the yellow. In you the see hot, the hot yellow. tub. What if you drink a lot of water? Yeah, no. And it's dark <laughs> in the hot tub. Yeah. Dark, hot. What? Oh, so you're saying when you pee, you didn't see it. I didn't pee in a hot tub. <laughs> I get out and use the toilet and then come back in. <laughs> so then shower. I believe her. I believe her. <laughs> I believe her. It's so true. that was gross. He, he peed. <laughs> he said, when Jake said pee, he goes, that would be me. <laughs> he spread out. Yeah. And they just and got she out. she stayed. And they left. And she stayed. It was sabotage. Yeah. Would the daughter stay? The daughter would get out jump out first. Yeah. Dad's pee. <laughs> gross. <laughs> Man. Too much pee talk. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so no more hot tub scenes because the hot tub is gone. Phew. Um, and rough well. times ahead for the, the mom. mom. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not seeing enough of Sadie. I want some more Sadie. Yeah. Uh, With her new self, she looks good. 
Ming wasn't in this episode at all. Either. Ming wasn't in this part of the mafia all. this episode. Yeah. Oh, okay. she was okay. joined the mafia. Oh, damn. <laughs> We've lost her to the Asian mafia. I want to hear about it. <laughs> yeah, so she's funny. joined the mafia for this episode. So let's wait and see. What do we think is ahead for tomorrow? Is she still going to keep going back and forth with her boyfriend? Maybe Ricky? a new mm-hmm. character will come in. Mm. I don't I think, think so. I don't think she's going to keep going back. I yeah. think she's going to keep going back, and it's going to keep getting more and more ridiculous. <laughs> like, how much more ridiculous can you get, though? Like, he's sitting there like, with two girls saying, this is going to be the best threesome you hooks, ever had. He hooks up with um, Ming or something, or tries to hook up with <sighs> Ming. Oh, that'd be bad. I think she's going to get a new man, and then her ex is going to be jealous. Yeah. yeah. Well, remember, she already uh, he already made out with uh, Jenna at the oh, party. Yeah. That's true. This guy <laughs> gets around. Okay, well. Anyway, we are going to go to commercial because Philly D said so. Hey there, good buddies. The handle's Wooly Bear. I'm a truck driving man, but I'm not that old school kind of truck driving man. No, I like to listen to podcasts while I'm driving through these great United States of ours. And my favorite podcasts in the world are from After Buzz TV. And why? Because <laughs> After Buzz TV is like a post game wrap up show for all your favorite TV shows like Jersey Shore, Dancing with the Stars, Mad Men, and a whole truckload more. I like listening to my Gossip Girl podcast, catching up with all my fellow fans and getting all the latest news and gossip. You know, I got some strong opinions. And After Buzz TV lets me share those opinions with thousands of other listeners. Holy, what a feeling! I used to doze off on those lonely stretches of road. And don't worry, I got the cruise control. But now I'm wide awake and listening to all the After Buzz TV goodness. <laughs> Check them out. Give them a holler. And tell them the old woolly bear sent you. <laughs> okay, actually, well, I guess it's not really news, but, you know, just like I already said, uh, we're having um, oh man, uh, Jillian, Jillian Rose Reed, who plays Tamara on the show, be in studio. Who's, who's responsible for making that happen? You or Marissa Movies? So I am. Are you? Yay. Yay. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Good job, D. Gave us And gave us a week notice. Originally, when I sent the, when <gasps> I, when he sent the email, I thought he was telling me she's coming tonight. Me too. And yeah, I'm like, I cussed I'm like, you out another five times then. <laughs> You're like, I'm not prepared. Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. All right, well, let me get this straight. Here, and actually, we did have a guest tonight for... Um, for FX's anger management, anger and, management. and it was it, the Christian. deal. Ne- the deal was negotiated in less than six hours. Dun, dun, dun. And here's what I told them: I said, "Let's pull this off. Let's make it work. And then you know what? Let's build to that level where they'd be like, hey, you know what? Will Smith is in town. He's got a few hours. Uh, c- can we do an interview in the next four hours? Mm-hmm. And I want publishers to be like, you know what? You guys are capable of having Will Smith in less than four hours. Oh, he's but I guess it the, the, the awkward team is not. So oh, he turned it around. So have you? Been, Awkward. Have you been listening to us? Ed doesn't even watch the show. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe she just said that. Unnecessary, Unnecessary roughness. roughness. Unnecessary roughness. Okay. Um, so we kind of already talked about predictions. Uh, do we remember any more words and phrases? Because that's like one of my favorite things. Okay. Our After Buzz TV words and phrases by Crystal Ackley. Words and phrases. I have two to add. The first being Newsome Twosome. Okay. That was a Jenna. That's true. And the second being Saran Wrapped. So and that was yeah, she said you were, you were Saran you. Wrapped up. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then uh, <laughs> her, uh, what's his name? Maddie and Jenna, when she was accusing him of being a saboteur, and he was denying it, and he was saying, you know what, it's because you're so clingy. And she said, you're the Klingon. <laughs> she called him the Klingon. Um, and then we got a really good devilish grin from Maddie as oh, he walked away did. from Sadie mm-hmm. when she said, you're being, you're sabotaged. Yeah. You're totally sabotaging so I think She's like, I can see the signs. And he's like, he first he walked away like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and he turned around and gave her that evil grin Raised like, yes, I am. Or something. I mean, s- come on. They're setting us up to not like uh, Jenna, mm-hmm. to not like Maddie anymore. You know, we're going to... We already don't like Sadie, but she's like, I don't know, because she's honest about her evilness. We, like, respect her or something. Well, they're turning it. I think we're going to feel bad for Jake and then not want. I mean, there's a part of me that still wants Jenna and Maddie to be together because that was the first attraction. But I think we're going to feel bad for Jake and then not want them to be together. Yeah, definitely. The the reason why I don't want 
Jenna and Maddie anymore is because of what the way Maddie's acting now. Yeah. Like he's just being a jerk. I still want to see it. I don't yeah. want it, but I want to see it. Well, I can tell you this. <laughs> Jake is boring to me. Jake Jenna is boring. What do you what are you saying, Phil? Well, Jake Jenna are boring. Winnie move uh, what? <laughs> I have a cat named Winnie. So oh, maybe he's talking to your kitty cat. <laughs> You talking to you talking to Crystal's kitty cat over there, Phil? That doesn't sound right. I know it's called Panini. <laughs> Are you talking to you talking to her Panini? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, you are. You know, don't mean to allude to anything. Uh, as I understand, you are spoken for. Oh, and that is. Blah blah. Yeah. So. Spoken for. Who I don't says know. that you sound like an old man. That yeah. would be me. I am the Thank old you. man. You're I am the old boy. man in the room. So you are okay. finally seeing what I say all along. <laughs> this is yeah. going frustrating. This is getting awkward, guys. This is getting <laughs> awkward. <laughs> awkward. I have something to um to say that I thought was kind of funny. I was about reading, not really no, news, no, but no, it's <laughs> awkward related. Uh, Jenna was doing an interview, and I thought it was really kind of funny. She commented on how she thought that everyone would be happier. <laughs> she referred to Bo, who plays Maddie's character. Yes. She wanted a little doll-sized version of him that she could just carry around, talking about his body, and she was just talking about how everyone would be happier if they had a little miniature Bo doll. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Because he's hot. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I thought it was cute. Dad. A bobblehead. Do we know – Do we? we don't know this. How old – these people are in real life. They have Good to be question. in their like late twenties. Because yeah, I Maddie's character looks totally older. Uh, yeah. way, way out of high school. To way me. out of high school. Uh, Lissa looks pretty young, or could be lo- yeah. young twenties at least. I would say. I don't Jake, know. I'm I'm he thinking could be he could be miss. young. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I honestly I feel like Tamara looks really young. Yeah, yeah, yeah very. Yeah. How old is she? And Ming could be really young or old. Yeah, you know she's an Amazing, so up. you never know. Yeah, we'll look it up. <laughs> I can talk about Amazians. Amazian. I can talk about Amazians <laughs> because uh, we got Philly D, not uh, uh, Marissa Movies, the, no, ama- actually, the Amazian. you would have been able to talk about Asians because Marissa Moody gave I us the go. I was she gave Amazians. us the go. <laughs> That's Amazians and not Asians. Our systems detect that a host has wandered off the subject. <laughs> Please return at once. And who would that be? Oh, my God. I, I love all these sound effects. I've never had that before. Oh, well. <laughs> You guys are like, that's what happens. You guys, <laughs> okay, so no, that's what happens. Get the original OG. So we actually <laughs> did the predictions music already. In case you were listening, or maybe you don't listen to the show. No, I did, but again, you weren't talking about the show. So I was trying to bring you back to predictions. Uh, I think next week, uh, Jake oh, she's predicting and Maddie something. will find out what's going on. I mean, Maddie oh, will find out. Next week? Yeah, I think next, next week. week we're there. Okay. No yeah. way. I think I I yeah I disagree. I don't. I think something might happen towards it, and because we saw Sadie like on the bus to go to church yeah. camp, I think that oh, she and Jenna could have are going to have that's a moment. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's church looks camp. Pretty awesome. <laughs> I know. Oh, They're like, God. we'll pray for you. <laughs> Sadie is going to church camp. I love it. What are your predictions? Um, I well, I would say that I don't. I not think that Jake is going to find out. Mm-hmm. I mean, I c- he could, but then, I don't know, he could. Do you think they'd go all the way to the finale to hold out the secret? No. No, no. I don't think they would. No, but yeah. you know why? I don't think so, because of how they handled the cliffhanger from last season. Oh, that's true. The first episode, at the end of it, they let us, you know, which I we liked. Yeah. We yeah. liked that they, they we found don't out. Don't drag it on. Yeah, that she confronted her mom right away. Yep. <laughs> because, you know, there's some things that are good to drag on. This one... I mean, it's only 18 minutes of programming that we just watched. Yeah. yeah. You know, if they do it for another 18 minutes, that's not too long. If they did it for another six or seven episodes, that's that too long. Too yeah. Long. You know, we'll be over it. Yeah. You know. Now so. I just want more. Yep. Now we yeah. just want to see more. <laughs> All right, Philly D, you can, wait you a can week. bring us out. Don't forget, tune in next week, uh, seven o'clock. No, not seven o'clock. That's Teen Mom. <laughs> Nine o'clock. You know, but watch that too. Just Phil, yeah. what's your cell phone number? I have him call you to find out when the show's <laughs> coming. o'clock. That's Nine? some imagination. Yeah. Oh, if we're back though, if we aren't on cable. Right. Oh yeah, it all so. depends on the whole Direct TV yeah. debacle. Viacom Get it together. Thing. Call them. Direct right TV. Them. Tweet them. Yes. Or dish. What is it? Direct TV. It's Direct. Yeah. If the world is still here on Monday. Oh, what do we say? Exactly. <laughs> huh? What do we say? We don't You're say welcome. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're no. welcome. Or we say it quick, not. No, you do it, Sadie Star. You want to say? <laughs> 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 By the way, I didn't hear you because you didn't make any sound. I know, I didn't <laughs> want to be heard. But actually, you were trying to say something. Yeah, I was, but I didn't want to say it into this and ruin it. 
40 euros. Can they hear us right 40 now? Euros. Yeah, they can hear us. We're That's why I didn't want to say it. <laughs> we're broadcasting on, we're, this is a show. You're spoken for. <laughs> From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> the most awkward sign-off goes to the awkward team. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.